The West Cumbria Economic Blueprint Realising the potential of Britain's energy coast Creating an environment where businesses and individuals can innovate With world-leading technology and outstanding business infrastructure Building a sustainable future for the next generation. The Blueprint provides a framework for major investment in West Cumbria, for upgrading the infrastructure, the services in West Cumbria, in order to facilitate investment, create jobs, create prosperity, and really to reinforce a, the, the position of West Cumbria as one of the leading areas, not just in Britain, but in the world. The region houses a cluster of dynamic businesses, including homegrown success stories and international companies like Tata Steel. I mean, the company is a global organisation with about 400,000 employees, but there was a positive decision taken around five years ago now to invest in the business here in West Cumbria based on a number of reasons, really. Um, the market opportunities here in West Cumbria we have businesses doing business for each other and with each other. The transport links in the area, we've got direct access to the port of Workington, which means that we've got access to the Americas and we've also got access to Europe. And there's strong sort of political support in the area, our local MPs, organisations such as Energy Coast providing a lot of support to help businesses succeed and grow in the area. Growth is encouraged by investment in high quality business support at Energis and the Westlake Science and Technology Park. And significant investment for global connections has been made at the Port of Workington. As a result of all of the investment, we've managed to improve all of our facilities, which include the railhead, uh, where we can move containers in and out. Um, we've also uh, managed to invest in a new crane, thanks to the investment from Britain's Energy Coast. And that gives us the flexibility to handle containers, but other cargoes as well. It's a major investment for a small port like Workington. The blueprint will encourage businesses to look to the next generation. Within six months, every single one of our apprentices will be involved in the manufacture of some items. Now, 50% of the workforce is actually apprentices. The only reason we can survive is because of the apprenticeship structure we've got. And this is echoed throughout companies looking to the future. That is the blood that's flown into the organisation. That's the, basically the business leaders of the future. At Lakes College in West Cumbria, the foundations are being laid to build a brighter future through the creation of a new construction skills centre. The new centre um, will allow us to grow our construction student population by about 20%. This will obviously help any future demand arising from all of the developments that are projected for this area. And it plays an essential role in supporting the Britain's Energy Course blueprint. With several key investments in the nuclear sector planned over the lifetime of the blueprint, major opportunities will be created for West Cumbria. And it's the wealth of experience in our nuclear sector that are opening up diverse opportunities for businesses. So we act up uh, 18 years ago, um, myself and two colleagues who, who used to work at Sellafield uh, in, uh, in the nuclear industry. And the business is set up really to provide smart solutions to clean up problems. And then about five years ago we got to, uh, we got to talking to a, a creative guy from BBC's Planet Earth television series and he had this idea of providing a, a technology to, uh, to do uh, offshore wind farm surveying using, using high definition television. We were able to come up with a really innovative piece of technology that completely changed the way in which that kind of service was provided. And that, that technology is so compelling, we've been doing work around the UK, we've opened an office in Boston, we've just done the first contract to do, uh, to do digital surveying work in the United States. And then a couple of years ago, um, we had a young guy who started with us at React and he, uh, he, he came up with a fantastic uh, piece of technology to to actually see radiation, where radiation's coming from. 
Well, we began our life uh, as a nuclear research group looking at characterization technologies at Sellafield. Um, we developed a number of new things there, new ways of identifying where radioactive material is, how significant it is and what the effects of it are. But uh, we're now looking at uh, defence work for the MOD, security work for the Home Office and we're also doing quite a bit for offshore wind with environmental technologies. The Blueprint will support applied research, the Energy Coast Campus and the National Nuclear Laboratory together provide a global centre of expertise. We're going to have two research teams based up here, one working on nuclear engineering decommissioning, another one on radiation effects. It's world-leading technology with world-leading expertise to do, hopefully, uh, world-leading science. The UK's historic nuclear programme covered uh, all aspects of the fuel cycle and we have in NNL that capability. We have over 10,000 man years of expertise that has worked on the nuclear industry in the past. The blueprint underlines the significant role that West Cumbria will play in delivering the nation's future energy needs. At the same time, helping to deliver the government's low carbon agenda. Supporting businesses like FarmGen, one of the UK's leading independent companies, specialising in developing, managing and operating anaerobic digestion facilities. Along the coast, there's further commitment to future sustainability at the Workington Mill of Iggerson Paperboard, having recently invested £108 million in a biomass combined heat and power plant, which is currently under construction. If we can put into effect all the, the vision that's contained in the blueprint, then it not only helps to attract investment into the area, but it then it puts us in the best possible position to ensure that West Cumbria and the people who live here eh, are able to take maximum advantage of that. It's a real good place to come and live and, and, to, and to work. Um, the house prices are reasonable, the place is absolutely beautiful, the crime rate's low. Um, a lot of us are passionate about the area, genuinely a real good place to live and work.